What's guys, YouTube? It's Money Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over how Destro Lonely has announced his next album, If Licks Could Kill, set to drop in April or essentially next month. All right, so let's get into it. So today, Lone was very active on Tumblr and he posted a lot of things on Tumblr today. All right, so it did start with this um, tweet or is this even a tweet? Like, what do you even call this? Like, what is a Tumblr post called? I guess it would be just called a posting, right? But um, yeah, he started posting this saying, every second of a video I've ever released is in my creative control. The only thing I don't do is shoot the video. So he was basically saying he's the correct creative director. He's the producer and his vision comes to life through his eyes and nobody is really, you know, hindering his process of creativity, right? So, and then a bunch of fans started replying to this saying, why didn't fake dudes get a video? Said he didn't want to have a video. Saying he makes his own decisions and he's tired of people who are accustomed to people's brains who don't work. So apparently uh, some fans did not like that. They kind of were like, I guess not happy with how Lone put out that sentence, I guess. So some dude replied saying, no, we aren't. It's just common sense to think that you got strict management because you're coming up or maybe label problems which prevent you from doing certain things. Saying, and then Loan claps back saying, yes, common sense for people who aren't that smart. I have zero label problems and anything preventing me from what I could do creatively because I myself am the creative. So essentially what we got from this tweet is that Loan is, he has full creative control. He's not being held back of nothing. And essentially he could drop whenever. So I guess the fan was just not happy how Loan put out that sentence. And then Loan said, just grow with the music and ideas or don't. It's not necessarily that hard or even matters that much. I'm contributing to what I want to this world. And it's a, and then, um, someone replied to that saying dude please i'm not growing s at the end of the day you're rich because of your fans we made you get to where you are today don't feel like us begging is too much you start to become lazy as hell and that is ridiculous i seen you four times perform in chicago you didn't have shoes on and when you went on tour with ken you had no socks and that was that you sit back, kick your feet up, laying up on your stomach, kicking it with that Claremont twin licking at me. <laughs> you popped out with You don't even give us what we want. Then get mad and mother ever leak your music. How about you effing drop? And I just don't understand why this dude is so salty. This top floor princess. I gotta admit, that Claremont twin joke was funny, but... I don't understand why this person is so salty. If anything, in my opinion, I think Lone has been giving the fans way too much. Bro's been on tour literally since the summer, went on tour with Ken Carson, then dropped the album, then went on another tour, like, um, and where, when was that? I guess October to December, I think he went on tour. Then on second leg of tour, it's just about to finish this week. Then he's about to do a European tour. Then he's about to do all the European festivals. And by the end of that, it's going to be summertime. So honestly, if I were, like i don't understand why people are mad at loan like i don't understand why these fans are so salty with loan maybe the way he was putting it he was sounding a little bit arrogant but honestly i think if anything loan's been giving the fans way too much in my opinion as i said i just broke down how he's been on tour legit since the summer and it's still gonna keep going and how he just dropped the deluxe he's been dropping music videos he's been outside been taking pics with the fans i have zero connotation as to why this fan is mad and in my opinion if anything loan's been giving out way too much to the fans i never really expected loan to be this active but that's what he wants to do and i can't complain like why am i going to complain about that like why are you guys complaining he saw loan four times you know how rare it is to see your favorite artist four times and him on like what is she like who cares bro i've seen the videos of the chicago show it was lit like i don't know what this person was doing at the venue but it looked lit the no styles tour ken tour it looked lit in my opinion so i don't know as to why this person is complaining then lone goes to say i love my fans to death and everything i do is for y'all but honestly no one decides what i do creative creatively i never said anything about my fans only about people who who don't understand it's unfortunate you feel this way though and that's what i got from his tweets as well he was just mad at people who kind of didn't understand his work ethic or way he kind of wants to move and maybe if people don't like that they don't like it but at the end of the day an artist is here to give you what they like and what they want to put out not what the fans want that's how people fall off if an art if for example if cardi dropped whole lot of red v1 what the fans wanted where do you think he would be today i don't think he would have had as much respect as he got for that album if he didn't choose to what 
choose the route he wanted to pursue creatively. If he didn't choose to go in that type of lane, then he, I don't think he would be as big as he is today and have the respect and create the big, you know, cult following that he did today. So at the, And that was like a big lesson for me to like, let the artists do what they want. Stop begging for songs. Stop begging for leaks. Stop begging for this and just receive and take it in absorb it understand it and then you could process it and give your opinion but don't say i want this i want this song it's just like annoying at the end of the day and let the artist be the artist they're an artist for a reason to to let their creativity you know come out in different ways shape or form so let's like let's be accustomed to that not beg for a song saying you're not good enough like who cares, bro? Like, if anything, as I said, Lone's been way too active in my opinion, but I'm not going to play and complain about that, right? Like, that's a good thing, right? And then, yeah, so that happened. Then Lone said, I'm lazy. They're replying to this tweet saying, I'm lazy with two and a half albums done. Law, just watch. Then someone says, LOL, just watch. Doesn't drop the album for two years once again and makes us wait just like his father. And I guess this dude is still salty about the no stylist two year wait. But in my opinion, that was well worth it. We got... Like, in my opinion, I were to say No Stylist is almost a flawless project. I don't think there is such thing as a flawless project, but I think No Stylist is at that tier, like, that's very, that's, it's like a high tier for me personally, like, and I still listen to No Stylist to this day, mainly the deluxe, but I still listen to the album, and then... Obviously, Lone was not happy with that and said, if you think I'm lazy and I'm going to wait two years to drop, watch me drop it next month in April. So if Looks Could Kill, the album from Destroy Lonely is set to drop essentially next month because it's about to be March next week, bro. And bro, that's going to be crazy. I didn't think he was going to drop the album this fast. I did. We did see that on the XXL article. Lone did say it's coming in the spring, I believe. Um, but I, I didn't believe that if I were to think if and in my opinion, I would think a perfect release for if looks hit kill would be October, right? Because we got the if looks hit kill with the whole mask, you know, it's that eerie Halloween dark vibe from that song. And then we got a new snippet from King Bob. We're going to react to it right now. But um, though, what I'm getting from this if looks hit kill album is like a dark horror grunge grimy type of album and i think it's a perfect set to drop in october but if he's gonna drop it in april i'm not complaining right but as i said i think long's been feeding the fans way too much and i i thought april i thought october was a perfect release let the fans starve a little um because he's gonna be active till like summer as i said he went on tour he's about to finish his nar stylist tour again He's been dropping music videos. Then he's about to do Rolling Loud. Then the week after that, he's about to do European tour. And then festival season starts all over Europe. And he's going to be out there. But, I mean, if he's going to drop it next month, I'm not complaining. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then, yeah, just, I don't understand why L fans were so mad at Lone. I feel like there's nothing to complain about if you're a Destroy Lonely fan. If anything, we've been eating good. So, I don't understand this. And, like, as I said... I, I, I thought April, I thought October was a good release, but if, if it's April, then it's April, and I'm not complaining. But as I said, to kind of back my October release, the snippets that we've gotten are just insane. Like, we can react to this snippet. It just came out, I believe, two, three days ago from King Bob, like the infamous leaker. And, like, just listen to this. And what type of vibe do you get from this? This, this sounds crazy, bro. This is giving me like Lancy Foe Life in Hell vibes. This sounds crazy, bro. And I wonder what this album is. I know this album could be insane. <laughs> that's gonna be crazy. And it looks like that's gonna be the intro. But I mean, yeah, it looks like Lone's dropping his next album in essentially a month because it's gonna be April, March next week. Next week. So, one month till it looks to kill. I'm not complaining, and I'm ready for this. You, you guys know I'm ready for it. And just, yeah, I don't understand why the fans are complaining, to be honest. But, I mean, if he wants to drop it next week, I mean, next month, I'm all for it. I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not going to say anything. But And he also says he does have two and a half albums done. And we've known that Lone is kind of, as an artist, they're always kind of ahead with their projects like no stylus we all knew no stylus a majority of it was like old songs like um 
Like Jet Lag was an old song. Um, what else was an old song? Turning Up, Lonely, Pressure. We all knew a bunch of these songs were kind of old. And it is, did, I think Lone did state that his album was two years in the making. A bunch of, and I think he said 80% of the songs of No Stylist was recorded back in 2020 or like a year before it dropped so obviously we know artists are kind of ahead with their projects but i mean if loan's gonna i didn't think loan was gonna be this active i thought loan was gonna go on tour finish that european tour and then just be dead for the rest of the year but if he's gonna feed the fans i'm not complaining and i'm ready bro if luke could kill one month away i'm very excited and i cannot wait to hear this album because from this snippet that we just heard to the if look to kill snippet and all of the um no stylist deluxe type of um that type of era after no stylist dropped them snippets has been insane but that's gonna be the video right loan is dropping in april if looks a kill and i'm ready for it right if you guys like the video like comment share and subscribe it's money mayor is it and i'll see you guys